first time this year by friend of the show, Greg Yay. Royce. Yay. Happy <laughs> New Year. Can Nezza. I say that? Yes, you can. How, absolutely. How, how, what's, I think, I think you, you got to stop Australia. Australia. I think you got to Australia Day. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good uh, marker. Once Australia Day yep. comes and goes, then you can start saying, uh, forget about New Year. Now it's, let's go. Happy yep. Easter. Happy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy Easter. Great to see you. Now you, I back. know, are intrigued about our new segment, Humdinger. Yes. You've been at me. I've been so close. Can you? Can I can't. You? Sweet. Okay, it's, too, it's too precious information. Would you like me to hum it for yeah, you again? Yeah, please. I'm going to have a guess. And if I guess it and it's correct, right, you can't blame me because I really think I'm close. Go. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> That's stairway to heaven. Oh. <laughs> stairway to heaven. What is it's wrong like, with you? It's like what you're doing is like rhythmic breathing. It's not, it's, <laughs> that's not humming because you need that's humming. No, but you need you need something musical in there. Oh, that's actually oh, harmonised beautifully. <laughs> Oh, I should get Guy Sebastian in here. It would really. I don't mention Guy Sebastian in front of him. Yeah, come on, mate. They've got a showbiz war going. Yeah. Have you really? No, I'm just not a fan of his that talk. I don't get it. I quite think really? he's a decent fellow. He's a Maroubarite. Yeah, he's 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 the he's the mayor of Maroubarite. It's ever since him that the neighbour days. You know, I just I, I, st- I stood up for the old bloke. That's all. Right, okay. I don't know what you're talking about when you say that, <laughs> but I just said, okay, like I knew. I, I don't even know if Neighbours is still on. Was he on Neighbours? No, the neighbour war he had with his oh, neighbour. about neighbour, the big the yeah. neighbour. Yeah, 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 we know about on him. Here, guys. On on here. his house. Yes. Hey, your social media, I look at it. <laughs> oh, I get tired. And I get exhausted. <laughs> I start sweating. Yeah. Can you post something of you just sitting around the couch eating Doritos? Please. Something I... like that, because you're running or hiking or you're doing some kind of Sweat. challenge. What's Every happening? week. I'm doing a different uh, – I'm doing a lot of physical activity at the moment, but I started the year of doing trying to do like a different challenge every week, right? Okay. So something physical or mental or spiritual, whatever. I just want to do something just because um, if I don't, I find that I have to live in my own head. <laughs> I do not want to do that. You don't want to be I here you both long. go to the gym because left your own devices. Yeah, I'm – Yeah, both nutty. I need to have a re- – I need to have the serotonin and the yep. endorphin release to yeah, make yeah. My, my day easier. Yeah. Well, I started this year with something a bit different. I did a, a five-day fast with, with no food <laughs> at all. Yeah, just water and coffee and hydrolytes, and that was it. How much weight I, did you lose? About over five kilos. Shivers. I did five that. Five days? I did that. Not consecutive days. <laughs> but I have. That's, that's effectively good. so far this year. Actually, no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Hang no, on a second. Do we, do we count trips to Bali where it's, there you go, that's no food for five days for Five days reason. fasting. So take us through that experience. What are you imagining? What are you, are you thinking about donuts? Are you thinking, what are you doing? Steak, chicken? No, nah, the first couple of days, it doesn't, I, I don't think most people really worry too much about food because, you know, really as humans, we're kind of, we're okay with it. We're, we, you know, genetically kind of predisposed to being able to have a couple yep. of days off the food. Day three, I was just going, oh, I could eat the arse out of chicken and gravy right now. Oh. Chicken and gravy and chips. I was just, yes. it was just really going through my mind Day too four. much. Day four, I'd moved on to pizza. Five? <laughs> Day five, I was with pizza, but with chicken and gravy ice, and, ice gra- and ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> And the thing is, you I'd meant- be a cannibal by day five. Oh. I would. It, everything's on the table. Georgie, woof, run! I'm hungry. Oh, it was bad. And everyone says, oh, you know, you've got to, you've got to ease yourself off a a five day fast, right? Where nah. you know you slowly integrate food. And I was just like, yeah, I can do that, or I can start drinking alcohol. Oh yes, please. <gasps> what was the first thing you <laughs> ate after a five day fast? I actually had some chicken soup first, nice and easy, and a couple of bananas, and I went, this is going well, right? This is what you're meant to do slowly integrate. And I went, I'll do that. And about 10 minutes after that, I was in the bathroom for three hours and I went, well, this is just not working. <laughs> so this is not working. You. So let's just give up. Let's get some, let's have a beer. Just so you're aware, the first thing I would eat after five day fast is I would woof a whole chicken like a Malteser. <laughs> <laughs> just hold the legs and strip it out. <laughs> hey, we were talking earlier on the show about shared households. Oh, I know yeah. You're a comedian. You yeah. came up through the ranks. I'm yeah. guessing like all of us who spent a fair bit of time uh, oh, sharing a house with strangers. <laughs> I, I yeah, I've I had um, a couple of great flatmates, and I also had one guy who tried. He literally sabotaged my life and sabotaged my sex life because, it, like, legitimately, he he actively went and did it. Because what was happening is when I was I was probably only about twenty twenty one or something like that. And uh, I was doing very, very well with the ladies because I'm very handsome, but also too, it's the mystique of my modesty that women love. (laughs) So 
uh, <laughs> I was doing pretty well. I was going, I was on a bit of a purple patch with the ladies. I won't lie. And, uh, and he was not doing as well. So he went, okay, he Mez seems to be, you know, bringing home a lot of friends. Yes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ruin that. And he got a scallop, you know, like a, a the the fish. Yeah, yeah. Like got a oh. scallop. Yeah. The fish scallop. Not the potato scallop. No, no, no. Okay. Got a scallop. Why he would have one. I don't know. And he hid it in my bedroom. <sighs> And he put it on top of a curtain rail. Oh. oh. And it went crook and I could never oh, find it. Oh, wow. Your room stunk. It, it was so bad, I moved out of the room oh. and moved into the storage room and put all the storage stuff into oh. that room. <laughs> I, was like, I, can't, I can't do it. Because I was still on this purple patch where, you know, like I was making a lot of very, very um, deep friendships yes. with women for a night. Yep. And then... I, and the, I would, I couldn't bring what, the, this room in the broom closet. Was, you had, it was horrific. <laughs> this smell was, I couldn't get rid of it. And the thing was right. And this is where he outsmarted himself. His whole idea was what I'll do is I'll hide this seafood in his room. And then the women will go to his bedroom and they will be disappointed. But I was like one step ahead of you, mate, I'm going to disappoint them with the sex. So, <laughs> so I was in a household <laughs> with a guy, uh, chiefy <laughs> and or the day he moved in. And he put this huge candle in his room, and it was like about three foot tall. It was like the bed. I said, what's that? He goes, that's my sex candle. He goes, every time I have sex, I'm going to put that on, and I have sex to well, in, under candlelight. A year and a half later, it was still three foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> and the only time it had been used was for a seance where he tried to have sex with someone from the other side. Wow. That was how desperate. Wow. Did you also check to see that it actually had a wick? <laughs> if he says it's a sex candle, but it doesn't have a wick. I'm not sure it's... he had a wick. <laughs> <laughs> Is how that went. You had a, what was it for your first shared house? Do you remember yeah, I do. I mean, my mates, uh, Spooky and uh, Mega Man. I we, love that. I, was, I heard that this morning when you said Spooky and Mega Man. I went, oh my God, this is like the Goonies. And, and, De- <laughs> and my other mate was Demon. We all lived together in a house. So it's just, <laughs> Who was scarier, Spook or Demon? Uh, probably, Mega Ma- Man. probably Mega Man. <laughs> oh, Mega Man. <laughs> All right. You all uh, happily cohabitated? Co- happily cohabitated. Food was an issue. We used to uh, hide food on each other because our. Um, our bedside manner wasn't what it should have been. Did, did you name food. Did you name food in the fridge? It's his uh, MG's. Well, stay for, away. for a couple of weeks we did. We kind of had Tupperware dishes with the little post-it notes on it. Mine, MG's, Spook's. Yeah. And then we found out everyone was eating each other. So uh, Mega Man would hide all the barbecue biscuits and the eggs under his bed. Is he a squirrel? And, well, that's the only way to do That's how you can get food. Scallop. Did, did you, and one scallop. <laughs> and one scallop, just for laughs. Just hide it on the curtain rail. By the way, if in, if your housemates ever do it, it's always on the curtain rail. Look no. up. Don't look down. Are, are you running home from here today? Like, No, I'm going to drive the car, but I'm, I am running uh, quite a bit at the moment. You so, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to be in a support vehicle. Yeah, can, we, can me and MG that. get a support vehicle oh, and yeah. just follow you around but while you run? It's, it's Instagram. What I do is I actually only run about 500 metres until I get a sweat, and then I make out that I've run 5K, and everyone just goes, oh, the oh you're a yes. weapon. Where the push-ups yeah. yesterday? Oh, that's it. Have you actually seen me do – I do 100 push-ups every day, right? Have you actually seen me do 100? No. Or have you seen me do a clip of five? Five. There you go. Unbelievable. <laughs> Anything to plug, sir, before oh, we Oh, you know, go? life be in it. That's, that's it. it. Well done, well, brother. Thanks, Merrick. Great to be here.